let's face it, the romance that we once knew may never be the same. Thanks to things like the internet, texting, tweeting, and Facebook, the dating game is changing. Some might even call the dating app Tinder a game changer. I really don't think that we would have met otherwise. I mean, even though there's, you know, bars and coffee places and things in the area. I Tinder is a matchmaking profile app that uses location technology and your Facebook profile information to introduce users to nearby people with similar interests. What will happen is, is once you swipe <laughs> yeah. to the right, if that person has already matched you, it will come up and say you have a match. Oh, you've got, oh, you got a match! So what are people looking for? What makes a person want to swipe right? You kind of look for that X factor. There's always that one thing that you see that you're automatically like interested in. From experience with my friends, they kind of look for guys that are attractive. I mean, usually the first thing is, oh, are they cute? Are they like, do they look nice? Are they built and stuff like that? It's no wonder Tinder has been highly criticized for its appearance-based matchmaking process. However, besides a photo, the app does offer a short bio about that person by simply clicking on their photo. Usually, I don't really click on the picture because, I mean, who has time? You have all these girls that you get to look at. Who has time to read all that? Mm -hmm. I read enough. So you just get the, get the look, get the good first picture, then you get the swipe. Hmm. Doesn't sound too promising for finding Mr. or Mrs. Wright. In fact, there are even websites out there dedicated to revealing Tinder nightmares. So, are we married now? Is that how this works? Yeah, me plus you plus my roommate, Lindsay, who you sent the same message to. Haha, <laughs> that's the first time that's happened. Or, tell me a little bit about yourself. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. What town are you from? Born and raised in South Detroit. Nice, what brought you to Chicago? Took the midnight train, going anywhere. That sounds more like a journey hit to me. Some guys will just kind of, like, message you these vulgar things. So is this really the new way of dating? Is Tinder supposed to connect us to our soulmates? My biggest pet peeve is when people take Tinder too seriously. When girls go on there and they look at it like, oh, um, well, I'm trying to meet my husband on here. And I'm like, well, I'm trying to entertain myself. <laughs> I mean, for the most part, to meet people, yes, use Tinder, but Tinder isn't the way to go to meet your future husband. But what about Kyle and Paige? They met over a year and a half ago on Tinder and planned to someday have a future together. I was looking for something serious, and I think that's why, why it worked for me. To Kyle, Tinder dating is more than just swiping left and right on a photo. He says it's all about getting to know the person before you decide to meet up. We had spent a fair amount of time chatting with each other, and and you can get a lot to know about a person when you're chatting with them. Kyle and Paige both experienced their fair share of their own Tinder nightmares, but now have Tinder to thank for finding their soulmates. So is Tinder messing with fate, or is it creating it? I guess it all depends on the Tinder user. I think it was just a good tool, and, you know, I agree with Kyle. Before we met, I didn't really believe in, like, the online dating or even in fate, but I definitely do now. In Toledo, Kim DiGiulio, NBC24.